And then the first time I watch the video, yeah, no one subscribe to my channel. You can media, no one share. Now for first time you be a share, me that's it. I read a report yesterday that broke my heart. I saw how much Ghana owes, but I also found that apparently the Minister of Finance's company or former company is a transaction advisor to the monies we borrow. Mm -hmm. So as Ghana gets poorer, the Minister of Finance's company or former company gets richer. Mm -hmm. Is this what we want to continue in this country? Do we want to re elect people into office, give them their pay and their perks, and then allow them and their friends and their companies or their former companies to be the very beneficiaries of the woes of our country? This is not only about the Minister of Finance. This is about Parliament. Parliament, you must be ashamed of yourself. You have failed the people of Ghana. Because I don't think from the time of Nkrumah to date, whoever is the Minister of Finance should be benefiting every time our country goes to borrow money. Is that what happened under everybody in this country? What precedent are we setting? Yesterday when I read the report, I was so broken. And I was like, do people know this? So I called four different people, some in civil society, some in government, some in the former government. And they said, oh, but this is general knowledge. And I'm like, it's general knowledge and parliament thinks it's okay. So whoever wins the next election will also set up their own companies and be the transaction advisors when we go and take a loan. What is wrong with us as a people? So the person's motive for even going for a loan for me now, it's not clear. Because every time we take a loan, their company makes money. Does this make sense to us as a people? Look, we have leaders of industry. Some who have been, you know, deprived of their finances. And in the meantime, the people who are sitting in power are stealing us blind. And all people can tell me is, oh, but this is general knowledge. And then Jimmy and Kwasi Asem What a shame. What a damn shame. When they are out of power, will they want whoever comes into power to repeat what they are doing? This is not NDC MPP. Parliamentarians, you are supposed to help us protect the public purse. You can't just go and sit there and vote, I am MPP, I am NDC. Vote your conscience what are you and, expecting? Vote, and vote your constituency. What are you expecting the MPs to do? The MPs? Mm -hmm. But you cannot become the transaction advisor for going to take loans when you are the Minister of Finance. How is that possible? They are the legislators. If they won't speak up about it for the whole country, to, but for me taking time to read this, this much over the weekend and yesterday, I wouldn't know the details of this. So issue? now go and bring all the loans we have taken and show us all the transaction advices and see whether they have links to the presidency or the people who are the ministers, or the people who are in legislature. Why are we doing this to ourselves? What kind of nonsense is that? Hey! If there's a conf the, the conflict of, of interest. Conflict issues, of interest is uh, where it starts. So, so Shride should be on the ball on this one. And where are they? Where are they? Look, right now, Ghana has become each one for himself, God for us all. I was speaking to one of my staff yesterday. He says, boss, I went to buy gas. 14 kilo cylinder now is 152 Ghana cities. 150 Ghana cities to fill the cylinder. Two Ghana cities for the rubber. When I take 152 Ghana cities out of my 1,400, how much is left? Now water is going up. Electricity is going up. And some people who we have put into positions of authority are raping the country. Why? Why? You are leaving it for your children and your children know you are doing this and your children will come and tell other people's children that mo papa mo bra. because you were stealing from the people. So those people whose parents did not steal from the people will be suffering and your foolish children will come and tell those children mo papa mo bra. Baby, what are 
what is this? And nobody wants to talk about it. Because if you talk about it, they will, they will impoverish you. Hey, Masa. If nobody kills you, you will die your own natural death. Well, that's it. Thank you very much, Chrissy. Um, went from ghost names swiftly to conflict of interest. But that's how it happens on this show. Which is worse? That yeah. conflict of interest it's or the ghost worse. names? How much definitely. are they taking from those ghost Zero names? Eyes, it's bad. It but there are things that are worse. And those things are being committed by the people that we have elevated into positions of authority. To be our guardians. To be our servants. And through serving us, we elevate them even higher. But are they serving us? Or are they serving themselves and their friends and their children? And you see, so you, you're not even surprised anymore when, Please. when people say that. I asked my brother right now here. Mm -hmm. He says, oh, Chrissy, you didn't know this. I was shocked. I thought he didn't know. Mm. He says, oh, I've read about it. I've heard about it. And we can't talk about it. And the news agenda doesn't want to put it on as something that matters. Why? So you serve at the presidency. Then you give yourself contracts. Then you give yourself work. Then everybody else doesn't have any expertise in this country anymore. Because once you serve with the president, all of a sudden, you know everything and everybody else in Ghana is what? Ultra-crepidarian. Oh, please.